welcome to our channel let us discuss about state level uh, sslc preparatory examination of science first main multiple choice question and first question is the color of the white light spectrum that bends the most is and the answer is option a violet second question a correct figure that represent the attraction between the poles of two magnet and the answer is figure r in second main answer the following questions third question mention any two natural phenomena that occurs due to the effect of refraction of light answer is answer is first one is twinkling of stars and second one is early sunrise and delayed sunset fourth question danger signal lights are in red color why because red having a longer wavelength and do not scatter easily and travel for the long distance and we can easily see and fifth question is what is solar cell solar cell is a device which converts solar energy to electrical energy sixth question you need to write the biogas plant diagram and seventh one observe the given diagram and what conclusions can be drawn from the experiment related to this diagram and here we are taking bar magnet it experiencing the magnetic field which is present around the conductor around the coil so it is inducing the current and shows the deflection in the galvanometer and this is an electromagnetic induction eighth question an optician has prescribed a corrective lens of power plus 3d to a, a person what high defect that person has and what is the type of this lens what is the focal length of the same lens uh, the defect is hypermetropia means uh, far sightedness and here we are using convex lens to correct the defect and focal length is plus 0.33 in the fourth main what is an electric motor and uh, detect the direction of mechanical force of conductor uh, state the rule that helps to detect the direction of mechanical force of the conductor in electric motor and what is the role of the split rings in the motor electric motor is a device which converts the electrical energy to mechanical energy and here we'll use fleming's left hand rule according to fleming's le left hand rule the four finger it represents the direction of magnetic field thumb represents the direction of force acting on the conductor and middle finger represents direction of the current and split rings act as a commutator which reverse or change the direction of current in the circuit and we have option for this question state a uh, right hand thumb rule mention any two properties of magnetic field lines and what are the two methods of increasing magnetic field in a solenoid right hand thumb rule according to right hand thumb rule so thumb which represents the direction of current and other fingers which is curved around the conductor represents the direction of the magnetic field and the properties of magnetic field lines are the field magnetic field lines emerges from north and move towards the south and these lines do not cross over it cannot cross and they forms the continuous loop around the conductor and the methods to increase the magnetic field in a solenoid is placing the soft iron inside the solenoid and increasing the number of turns in the coil tenth question you need to write a ray diagram of the object is placed between c and f and then you write you need to write the nature of the image then you have to calculate a resistance they have given potential difference and current so you have to find out r1 r1 r2 and r3 then you have to find out the total resistance connected in series and 12th question an experiment conducted in a circuit using nichrome wire below given the values of potential difference between two ends of the wire and current passed through in a table and here in table uh, they have given current and the potential difference and questions like state the laws related to this experiment and this is related to ohms law because when the current is increasing and the potential difference is also increasing so current is directly uh, proportional to potential difference so when the potential difference increases current will also increase and what is the resistance of nichrome wire is uh, when you calculate the resistance by using a potential difference divided by current you will get the answer 3 so the resistance of the nichrome wire is 3 Question B: In domestic circuit, electrical appliances are not connected in series. Why? Explain. In a domestic circuit, in series connection, it receives small voltage, so current decreases and device becomes hot and does not work properly. 
but in parallel each device receives a different nf current so we use a parallel connection in domestic circuit and option uh, we have option for this question a electrical resistivity of some substance at 20 degree celsius are given of the following in the following table observe the table and answer the given questions according to this table silver is the good conductor because of low resistivity and ebonite is the insulator because of uh, high resistivity and uh, second question which substance is used in uh, electrical heating device uh, we use nichrome because it's an alloy and it does not burn at high temperature it is having high resistance next b uh, when current flows through a circuit having tungsten wire of particular length then ammeter reading is uh, 5 ampere and what what change does occur in the ammeter reading when the thickness of the tungsten wire of the same length is doubled why so here we are increasing area if the area increases resistance will decrease if the resistance decreases current increases so 5 ampere changes to 10 ampere means it is it will double and 13th the refractive index of the material media a and b is uh, they have given media a is 1.50 and media b is 1.44 respectively uh, first question which medium is optically denser obviously the op option a uh, it is having 1.50 refractive index it is having more density and b it is having 1.4 it is having less density and speed of light is higher in medium b because it is having low density the speed of the light will be more and 13th b question the magnification of the image of the object obtained from the lens is minus 1 and what type of lens is to be used to get this image and mention the position nature and size of the image so it is minus 1 means it is a real image a real image we can get by the convex lens and the real image is always inverted and here minus 1 means the image is in a similar size and it is a, here a object is placed in 2f2 in part b we have chemistry a uh, 14th question is uh, mcq they have given and 14th question the substance reduced in the chemical reaction here copper is reduced option b copper is the correct answer in 15th question correct structure of the benzene is option d in the 7th main answer the following question 16th question is state modern periodic law modern periodic law is the properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic number in the 17th question when a blue and red litmus paper are dipped separately in the both of given solution what changes can be observed give reason solution x it is having magnesium hydroxide it's a base so the red litmus paper red litmus paper shows the blue color it turns to blue color and if you dip the blue color it means it remains blue color only a uh, solution y is acetic acid it is acid so blue color uh, litmus paper turns to red color if you red, uh, dip red color litmus paper it remains same in 18th question they have uh, they have given a uh, atomic size and they have arranged the elements uh, third period of elements according to this periodic table in a third period sodium having a uh, larger atomic size and uh, chlorine having small smaller atomic size because atomic size along a period decreases and down a group increases along a period dec uh, decreases because for the same shell only electrons will add up and a down a group it will increase because uh, shells will also get added and how does the metallic property vary in these elements uh, electro positivity decreases along a period and increases down a group and electronegativity increases along a period and decreases down a group uh, because along a period we have more electrons and there is no uh, extra shells and distance between nucleus and uh, shell, uh, electrons will be less so we can easily remove down a group the shells will be more we cannot remove easily and 19th question name the electrolyte solution used in the refining of copper it is copper sulfate cuso4 and next list the list the methods of preventing uh, corrosion of metals first one is painting next oiling applying grease and galvanization next balancing equations you need to balance then you have to write the chemical equations 21st question you need to write the diagram and 22nd they have given a ph value uh, k is 5 and l is 13 m is 9 and n is uh, 
3 here n having more h plus ions hydrogen ions and l having more oh minus ions means hydroxide ions because n it is a 3 and l it is 13 and b question a saturated solution p is nacl sodium chloride and in this process gas q is chlorine glass gas and R is calcium hydroxide because chlorine gas is when it is passed through the calcium hydroxide we will get the calcium oxychloride means bleaching powder and that is S. So P NaCl, Q chlorine gas, R calcium hydroxide and S is calcium oxychloride bleaching powder. 23rd question methanol is the first member. So then you have to add a CH2 group for the methanol you will get ethanol C2H5OH. Then you have to add CH2 for the ethanol and you will get propanol C3H7OH and three members of the series. And B question uh, C2H4 it is ethene and C2H6 is ethane. So when, uh, I, when you add the hydrogen to ethene, ethene will get converted into ethane. So unsaturated to saturated carbon compound. Part C is biology. Our first MCQ, 24th question. Products formed in the muscle cells by the respiration carried out in the lack of oxygen are lactic acid and energy. 25th, homologous organs means organs that are similar in structure but different in function. Option A is answer. 26th, the process of transpiration in the plant body. Option D, it creates osmotic pressure. 27th, a sexually reproducing animal has 39 pairs of chromosome. The number of chromosomes in the zygote of this animal is option B, 78. In 28th question, figure B, uh, it, it will produce more energy because we have four chambers. Uh, there is complete separation of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. So, we will get more energy. 29th, sexual reproduction uh, results more variation in offsprings because in sexual reproduction, it involves both male and female parent and DNA will get copy. So, during uh, DNA replication, there is some changes in DNA. So, variations occurs in the offsprings. 30th, what is the function of adrenaline hormone? Adrenaline hormone helps to face the emergency situations. That's why it is called as emergency hormone. 31st, what is pollination? Pollination means transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma. Then you have to write down the diagram of uh, human excretory system, 32nd. And 33, who are the stakeholders of the forest? Stakeholders of the forest are, first one, local people which are present uh, around the forest. And second one is the uh, industrialist third forest department and fourth one is the people wants to save the nature or nature enthusiast list any eco-friendly life measures that can be taken to reduce the impact of using fossil fuels and the environment we can use cycling walking and following the rules of traffic rules and we can use efficient engine and we have to follow uh, do the emission test periodically and 34th, you have to write the diagram of neuron and label the part of axon. 35th question, you need to cross a between tall pea plant which is having capital T and small t and dwarf plant having uh, both uh, small t and we have to write, you have to write the checkerboard and here tall is dominant and dwarf is uh, recessive. Next, uh, we have option for this question and option is what factors could lead to the rise of new species? Uh, first one natural selection then migration and genetic drift b the exper experiences gained by an organism cannot cannot be transferred to the organism of next generation why the experience gained by an organism uh, these are example for the acquired traits and these traits causes changes in the body cells and they do not transfer from one generation to next generation the changes which occurs only in uh, reproductive cells can carry from one generation to another generation 36th, why are food webs uh, formed in the ecosystem? Uh, because in uh, ecosystem, many food chains are interlinked to form the food web. And B, biodegradable waste and non-biodegradable waste are to be dumped into a separate dustbin. Why? Because non-biodegradable do not decompose easily. There is a different method of disposal of a non-biodegradable substance. And for biodegradable, we have separate method of uh, disposal. So we have to keep it separate. 37th, Vegetative type of reproduction is a boon to farmers. How? In vegetative reproduction, we use a root, stem, leaves or flower, any part of the plant to regrow it. We can grow uh, from one plant, we grow, we can grow many plants. So it helps for the farmers. 
next uh, so we have option how are the position of testis and function of the uterus complementary to each other in human reproduction system testis helps to produce the sperms and uterus helps to implantation of the zygote and uh, zygote after dividing it uh, develops into embryo so uterus provide the place for it and 38th question how are cerebrum cerebellum and medulla of the brain brings control and coordination in our body cerebrum helps in thinking reasoning imagination emotions it's a seat of intelligence and seat of consciousness cerebellum it helps to control and coordinate the movement of muscles while walking and running medulla it helps in involuntary actions like breathing blood pressure heart rate 